Hi friends, welcome to the Feathered Cottage Adventures. I'm Dee and I just wanna first start off by thanking each one of you for taking time out of your day to watch what I'm doing. Um, it just amazes me and I just, I wanna take a minute to thank you. If you are new to the channel and have not subscribed, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and become part of our Feathered Cottage Adventures. Uh, as many of you know, we have become full-time RVers as of last fall. And so, life's been different. It's uh, definitely been different. Um, I'm here in the camper. You know, we got Corona going on. Uh, we're having to handle things totally different than we did before. The campgrounds across the nation are closing luckily our campground has not so we are safe there we're not having to move um but i feel so sorry there's thousands of full-time rvers that are having to relocate when they had signed up to be in their campgrounds for you know a month or two months even three months and they're having to relocate because so many parks and stuff are closing down which in a way i understand in a way i don't understand to me, it's safer to have them staying in their camper, staying put, than it is having them travel and not have anywhere to go. But, so for those campers, I'm praying for y'all. Uh, for anyone that's been affected by the coronavirus, uh, we've all been affected, but not all of us have been diagnosed of having it. And so I want to tell each and every one that has been diagnosed or is a carrier, diagnosed as a carrier I'm praying for y'all I'm praying for this nation I'm praying for this world it is just a hot mess right now and for many of us you know we don't know what to do uh, we know to stay safe we know to stay six feet away we know to stay home and I'm gonna stress stay home <laughs> um, we're, we can't get toilet paper we can't get meat we can't get a lot of things right now I'm hoping that that will subside, that people will have built their stockpile so that they're not running out and getting more, and the rest of us will be able to get that kind of stuff. Um, it's just been a very crazy time. It's been a time that you see our nation coming together, and then you see the ugly coming out in other people. So we just need to make sure we take time to pray for our nation. Um, it's just crazy times right now. That's just all I know to say, crazy times. But I thought I would share with you some of the things that I'm going to be doing while I'm staying home. Uh, I do have, you know, food and all that stuff prepared. Uh, and I'll share Thursday on Meal Inspirations some of the things I've done to keep food from going bad, but still be able to use it if I'm in here 15 days or if I'm in here 30 days, you know, it's gonna be okay. But some of the things I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take advantage of this time. There has been so, so many things that I've wanted to do that I felt too busy to do. And so I'm gonna take advantage of those things and I'm gonna do them. Um, I thought I'd share my list. And I suggest grab a piece of paper, write down things that you've wanted to do but haven't had time to do. I've put uh, read self-improvement books, do my Bible study, um, you know, that's a faith builder, um, do a gratitude journal. You know, there's so much in this nation we have to be thankful for. Why not write it down and give God praise? Meal prep. Do meal, meal things that you can do. Something that I'm going to do trying to find out an exercise. I want to get some exercise, but I'm not going to get out and walk around. I'm not going to do anything that's impossibly cause me to get in contact with somebody. I'm going to learn to belly dance. Um, I'm, I'm Leah Isaac uh, on YouTube and she's in for belly dancing. I love to dance and that's a dance I have never done. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to see just how you do that. And it's supposed to strengthen your core and your arms and your legs and everything, and it doesn't take a lot of room. So I'm gonna try some belly dancing. Um, 
if it quits raining, <laughs> I want to clean the carpeted areas in our house. Um, I want to wash the inside windows and the frames and get that all cleaned up and ready for spring. If it quits raining, I'll wash the outside windows and frames. Um, I'd like to clean out my car and vacuum it and get it ready for spring. Um, I'm going to clean the shower track. And some of these things I'll hopefully be able to make videos of. I'm going to meal plan because I know what I was able to get at the store. Meats are limited. Eggs you can't get. Toilet paper you can't get. So I'm going to take the things that I was able to get and I'm going to meal plan around them. I'm going to pick the ingredients and make something that will feed my husband and I for the next 14 to 15 days or longer. Um, I think I'll clean the woodwork in here. I just want to get some spring cleaning done while I have time to do it. Uh, I'm obviously going to disinfect my home, which I've been doing that. Um, I've got so much equipment that I have purchased that I have not taken time to sit down and, and learn about it or use it or anything else. I'm going to take some time to learn the things I need to learn to make a better YouTube video. Um, I want to learn more on my Mac computer. There's so many things I don't know how to do, but right now it gives me time to learn it. Um, I want to set up a new budget since times have changed. You know, right now, currently, my husband is still working. That could change in a matter of hours. You just don't know. Um, you know, I want to set up a budget of how I'm going to make it and how if if need be, if this thing goes long enough that we don't have an income, how I will pay my bills when things start back. Um, I'm going to go through my winter clothes and bag up things that I know I just don't want to wear. Believe it or not, after moving out of our sticks and bricks, downsizing to probably 98%, I'm still finding things that I can downsize some more. Um, I want to decorate the camper. Uh, I want to kind of do a spring slash summer, um, do maybe a little Easter. Um, I want to do some crafts. Uh, there's two different crafts I'm wanting to do. I'm going to do them. Um, I'm going to write, I'm going to take time and actually write each of my grandchildren a letter and tell them what they mean to me. Um, and then let them be able to receive it. They're all at home. They're all not able to go anywhere. And I thought, you know, a real letter, old fashioned letter, not a text, but an old fashioned letter to them will be something different and something nice that they will remember this time in their life. Um, I'm gonna call my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is 82. Happy birthday, by the way, Nanny Jo. She just had her birthday this week and none of us got to go and be with her that killed me it was just it's just hard time um i may even ooh, i may knock my camera over too uh, i may even do like a mani patty on myself i don't know how great it'll be but it's something different if i mess up i'll take some nail polish remover and take it off i may do a facial you know there's so many things that you can do you know if you've got your kids home or your grandkids with you Sit down, have a little nail painting party. Why not? Um, I may even color in a coloring book. Whoever knows what, what I'd come up with. Now that didn't make a lick of sense. Who knows what I'll come up with. But, I just wanted to let people know, take advantage of this time. Don't look at it in just negative light. It is so easy to see all the negative going on right now. It's so easy to let it depress you. I know there's people financially struggling. I know there's families that, you know, don't know how they're gonna make ends meet and my heart breaks for them, but we will survive. Tough times make tough people and we're gonna come out of this stronger. I truly believe we're gonna come out of this stronger. But to break up the mundane, the I'm stuck at home, what am I gonna do? Break it up, find some fun things, do some puzzles, do some crosswords if you enjoy that. Play some video games if you, you know, need to. Uh, do some meal prep, do some baking, uh, 
read your Bible. Um, for any of you that would like, Wednesday nights, we're doing this Bible study. So join us tomorrow night and watch and learn the Word of God. Uh, do a gratitude journal. Have you ever stopped and just listed out the things you're grateful for? There is so much to be thankful for that we don't have to sit here and just focus on the negative. Uh, you know, I've made me a list. I have a list of things I'd like to do. Um, you know, I'm going to do some decorating. I'm going to do some crafts. Um, I may even refinish my table. I don't know. Um, I just want to find things that will keep me positive. You know, I've got from, I'm going to write my grandchildren. I'm actually going to sit down, write each one of my grandchildren a letter, um, and mail it to them. Let them receive something special that they don't normally get. We're in such a texting, ooh, sorry about that. Uh, we're in such a texting world. You know, take time, write somebody a letter. Write your mother, write your grandmother, um, well, whoever, write them a letter. You know, I bet that would just make somebody's day to open their mailbox and there'd be something from somebody that loves them um, or is thinking of them. Call, call on your family. Make sure they're okay. We can't be together, but we can call each other. We can talk to each other. You know, call that long lost friend that you haven't spoke with in a while. Uh, see how they're doing. Um, you know, there's just so many things we can do positively to break up the day, give us something to look forward to, and keep ourselves busy so that we don't sit and go stir crazy and get cabin fever. But I just want people to take this time, renew your body, your mind, and your soul. It's an awesome time and no one can get mad at you for doing it because they're doing it too <laughs> so you know i'm not going to tackle any particular thing today so today for tackle it tuesday i just wanted to give you that little bit of encouragement um and then i thought we would do uh a decorate i'm going to create a box that I want to use on my mantle. And I'll do another video on doing my mantle. But I want to take Bella D Designs little boxes and turn it into a little arrangement. So stick around and we'll get started on it. I gotta tell you, this is a hard video. I think many YouTubers are struggling right now because we can't get out and get things. We don't have um, access to stuff that we normally have access to. Uh, this has been a hard video to make, um, to come up with something positive and to give affirmation to each one of us. I just wanna say, this has been a hard video. Um, it's not gonna be long, but I just want everyone to know that I'm praying for them. I'm thinking of you all. I appreciate you taking time today to come and visit with me. I hope all of you will join us tomorrow night for Wednesday in the Word at 8 Central here on YouTube. It's live. I would love for you all to join us. Um, I just want to be an encouragement to people. And I want to lift people up. Don't forget who you are. Don't lose sight of your abilities. Don't lose hope. Things are going to get better. So just until we meet again, stay safe, stay inside, you know, keep yourself, keep yourself in distance of people, you know, wash your hands, disinfect, do all the things that the DC, the CDC is telling us to do. Until we meet again, friends, y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye.